Hello, welcome back to a, you got it, new episode of Ask Cheshire TV. It's been a while, I know. I'm Mark Nelson, Executive Director here at Cheshire TV. Um, it's been a while. I had intended to this, for this to be a weekly program, and it turned out to be a W-E-A-K-L-Y program. It's been about a year. So I'm here to catch you up and remind you and spread good cheer and read oddness to goodness fake letters that people have sent in uh, about uh, the channel and what we do here. So basically the idea of this show is there was a show that Channel 38 out of Boston used to do when I was a kid called Ask the Manager. And I thought it was fascinating because it was people at home asking questions, sometimes questions that I had, sometimes questions I would never have thought of asking of the people who ran the TV station, and you got a little bit of an insight into how this independent Boston TV station worked. So we're trying to bring that to uh, our local community here and the station at Cheshire TV with Ask Cheshire TV. So you can write in and ask us why we run certain kind of things or how certain things work or how something can happen or just any kind of question you might have. Why doesn't he ever get a better haircut than this? That it's legit. Um, you can send us an email at askctv at CheshireTV.org. You can call us at 603-283-6621. You can send honest-to-goodness paper physical letter mail to us at P.O. Box 903, Keene, New Hampshire, 03431. Or you can just stop in and see what we're all about. Currently, part of what we're talking about today, currently we are located in the Keene Public Library basement, the K. Fox Room. It used to be, I always tell people it's where the book sales used to be and where they will one day again be because our building that most people have known us in, in uh, 76 Winter Street in Keene, New Hampshire, is being renovated. That should be done relatively soon, we're told. We were told that about a year ago, but it looks like it's actually true this time. So we're told, if that was one of your questions, when will we be moving back into the Keene Library Annex at 60 Winter Street here in Keene? Um, I've been told end of March, I'm going to say by May, pretty safely, we'll be in our new digs and we'll have a open house and welcome everybody in and let everybody see what our slightly different uh, area is going to look like. We're basically going to be one floor above where we had been traditionally forever. So the, the layout floor plan, somewhat similar to what it was, a little bit more space, a little bit more uh, honed to what we need, and uh, probably some newer doodads and, and shinier equipment and furniture than you're used to have seeing if you ever stopped by at Cheshire TV. So uh, well, let's go to the letters. This, the, this voluminous pile, these, this documented incidents that I have here uh, came in via email, or was it letter mail? At any rate, it's on paper. We have, uh, how does Cheshire TV decide what shows to make? I'd like to see a building slash home improvement show. Signed, Bob who must be a builder. So Bob, uh, how do we decide what kind of shows to make? Well, actually we don't at all. Uh, Cheshire TV, the way I like to put it is we're sort of like a cork board. Uh, we are the cork board on the wall. We will give you the paper and we'll give you the thumbtacks, but it's up to you to write on that and stick it up on that board. So what we have here is an array of equipment. We have uh, Canon XA25 HD cameras that shoot on little postage stamp size SD cards. We have tripods, we have microphones, we have all manner of video equipment that you might want to use to create whatever, whether that creating is uh, covering a city meeting or covering a parade or recording yourself playing guitar or recording uh, deforestation or recording anything. Uh, that's yours to do as you see fit. It's a membership organization. So in order to get use of our equipment, you either need to be a free member if you qualify or you pay $50 for a year, which is an incredible deal when you consider the value of what you're getting for that $50. We have a few members who are from outside our coverage area and they pay us once a year and they make full use of our facilities. Um, to cover for, to get free membership, it is, you need to live, work, or go to school full-time in Keene or Swansea. Keene and Swansea are the two towns that uh, fund us, basically. So it, all you have to do is come in, prove that you are a full-time resident scholar, <laughs> full-time scholar, or a worker in one of these towns. And that's usually a photo ID. And if the photo ID has a address outside of Keene or Swansea, it would be a piece of paper. It would be a, a pay stub or a utility bill or something like that. And once we get you in your system, you can check out our stuff and really do whatever you want with it as long as the equipment comes back in the condition that it left and that you give us something to put on the air. So if you go out and shoot 
a parade. You just need to give us, you know, some finished product that we can put on the air. It's basically free equipment in exchange for programming that fills our airwaves. So to get back to Bob, if that is your real name, if we get, to get back to Bob's question, um, we don't put any restrictions on what you can do. We don't care. Uh, it it's always feels weird to say that to somebody. I don't care what you do. Somebody comes in passionate. Oh, would it be okay if I did whatever? And our answer is yes, that sounds fantastic because that's you exercising your First Amendment rights. That's you utilizing us for exactly what we're here for. And that's us, you know, that's the reason we exist is for people to come in and, and, and do things like this. So um, it doesn't matter if we already have a show like the one you want to do. Um, if you want to do a cooking show, and we're, we're still running the old uh, Luca show because we're fairly proud of how good that show was. Um, if you want to do a cooking show, great, we'll have two cooking shows. If you want to do a political talk program, great, we'll have more than one of those. It does not matter to us. We're a weird thing that it's hard for everybody to get their head around. It's hard for us to get our head around it sometime. Um, we're not about the viewers, which sounds terrible. I shouldn't say we're not, we don't care about the viewers, but we really exist for the people who come and participate here. We exist so that people can get the word out. It, it doesn't have to be a political message or a religious message. It can be, I mean, I do a show, I like movies. I do a show where I talk about movies because I enjoy that. It's not important, it's just something I like to do. So whether you feel like you're, you're saving the world or educating people or entertaining people or just doing what you like to do, that's why we're here, is to allow you to do that and to allow you to have a, a means of producing that stuff, primarily, and also a means of getting it out. Now, some people say, you know, I don't have cable. Who cares about cable? Cable's passe, whatever. You, it's not limited to cable. Anything you create, you own. So if you check out one of our cameras and you go out in the field and you shoot amber waves of grain, you have to give us something to put on the air, but you can also take that thing and put that on YouTube or Vimeo or Facebook or send it to a film festival or whatever. As long as we tick that little box and we get what we needed out of the situation, it is yours to go as, sorry about that, it is yours to go as far afield as you would like with it. Um, we have somebody who, who was on a previous episode of this show, Zach Benton, who does a show here. He checks out a camera every week. Um, actually, I think he just bought a camera, so now he's not even doing that, but he uses our facility for editing, which we we also have, we have an edit suite in the Adobe, uh, Adobe Creative suite of programs, and we also have tutorials for those if you are not well versed in any of that. And you just book some time and you can sit here for as long as you want and edit your product. And then as long as you give us something in the end, you can do whatever you want with it. Zach takes his show and he's a go-getter, so he has his program on public access stations all over the country and in Australia. I believe on two channels in Australia. So. Whatever you do is not limited to Keenan Swansea cable channels and cable viewers. It really can go as far as you want it to. Or you can just post it on your own website. I mean, you can be as selfish as you want. You can be really doing this just for you. As long as you give it to us, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if it doesn't seem appropriate, if it doesn't seem like anybody would watch it. We're, we're, here, we, we, we're here for you. So like I encourage school kids, Kids who need to do a project that involves video. If you don't have a camera, if you don't have a good camera, if you don't have a tripod, a microphone, if you don't have an editing uh, capability at home, or if your home computer isn't robust enough to handle editing, which a lot are not out of the box. If you're dealing with HD video, you need a lot of RAM, you need a really good fast video card, and a lot of storage space. That's where we can be of use, is that you can use our equipment for free. And if you're using our equipment for a school project, it might seem dumb that this video about tadpoles would be given to us to air on TV, but yeah, we'll run that. And the duration doesn't matter either. We're structured like a regular TV channel. So there's always, as the slogan says, there's always something on. Everything starts on the half hour or the hour. So a lot of what we run are half hour shows or hour long shows or 90 minute presentations or two hours or whatever, but none of those are strictly that amount of time. A 30 minute show is never 30 minutes. If it's commercial TV, a 30 minute show is barely 20 minutes these days. Um, we take little things and we fill the gaps. We call them filler. So if anybody does something that's short, that's where we put those. So we have people who are musicians and they'll do a music video or they'll do uh, a joke or a little sketch or whatever. And it's this little standalone thing that doesn't fill a half hour. So it doesn't appear on our schedule. If you look it up, it's not, you're not gonna see it listed, but that'll air in between things. Or people will come in and do a PSA or they'll do a poetry reading or they'll do, 
literally a dog doing tricks or a cow cleaning itself. And that, sure, we'll take it. You checked out the equipment, you gave us something, we put it on the air. So to get back to Bob's question, because he actually did uh, ask a question, even if he doesn't really exist, um, he'd like to see a building home improvement show. Our semi-flip answer to that is, let us show you how to make one. <laughs> because we don't really, aside from what we're doing right now, we don't really create content here. We're that cork board, we're that venue, we're the soapbox that you can stand on. We'll hand you the soapbox and the bullhorn, but it's up to you to start yelling. Or singing, or playing banjo, or scatting. Uh, so at Home Improvement Show, fantastic. We'll give you tips on how to maybe get that done. We'll tell you how much of a, a big deal it is to do that. Or we'll point you in the direction of somebody who can help you, but we don't actually do production for people. Um, and now again, I'll rein that in a little bit. If you come into our studio facility to do a weekly show like this, this is actually the set of uh, Pat Rainey does a couple shows. This is the set for uh, Art of Being Human. This also pretty much was the set for Keen Insights. This is probably the set for a lot of shows with our, our fake bookcase behind me. Um, we will set up the set for you. We'll get all the cameras set up, and all you have to do is come in, sign your paperwork, sit down, we'll put a microphone on you, and you do what I'm doing right now. Um, that, that is about the level that we'll do for somebody. So it is totally possible to do a weekly program or a one-off or whenever you want to do a program to come in and We'll have it ready to go for you. You need to work with us ahead of time to determine what your set's going to be to come together and we'll create a video and intro and outro, you know, your credits and all that stuff and theme music and all that. But once that's all set up in the beginning, it's a little bit of work to get it started. But once it's set up and you're doing a regular thing, you just show up and blab like I'm doing for however long you do every week and you got a show. So if you say we should have a home improvement show, well, we don't really make them. So we, we don't have much say in that. Uh, I'd love to see a home improvement show on the channel. I'd love to see any kind of variety on the channel. Every time somebody does something new, it's exciting for me because it's somebody doing something. It's somebody utilizing us and giving us, you know, justifying our reason to exist and providing something interesting that's locally generated, which is the big difference between us and any other channel, is that the majority of what we air is local origination. It's stuff people you may run into, uh, hopefully not with your car, uh, locally who create this stuff. Um, you might not like it all, uh, you might not watch it all, but it's kind of neat to turn it on and see somebody you know expressing themselves, sharing of themselves, or talking to somebody who's interesting, or not, uh, on TV every week. So to say that there wouldn't be a home improvement show if somebody local didn't make it, Again, not 100% true. We also have uh, what we call imports. There are various uh, organizations online where you can upload a show that you do locally, and then people from another public access station can get those. There's one called pegmedia.org. That's probably the oldest one. And there's also a thing we have access to called the Tellview server. It's a video server for public access stations around the country where you can upload your shows. And by doing that, you're saying, okay, folks, feel free to air this and then you can also pull down shows. So occasionally you'll see stuff on this channel that are from stations in Massachusetts or other New Hampshire stations or around the country. That stuff we've pulled down to basically give a little bit of variety to our programming so it's not just the same local shows over and over and over again. And also to give you the idea that this is the kind of thing you can do. So if we had an automotive repair show that we were pulling from Fitzwilliam, not Fitzwilliam, from Fitchburg, Mass. And then if somebody local started doing one, we probably would bump that not local one and air the local one in favor of that. Um, early on, we aired some cooking shows before Luca did his thing. And then when Luca came along, we just kept Luca on because, hey, it's a local guy. You can go taste the stuff the guy is actually doing on here. Um, so you will see some non-local programming on occasion, and that's just something we picked to sort of fill out the airwaves, give it a little variety, and give you the idea of what you could do if you choose to do so. Now, I know not everybody wants to make TV. Most people just want to watch TV, and that's fine too. Um, we're here for both of you. As much as I say we don't care about the viewers, we kind of do care about the viewers, but we're not going to tell somebody they can't do something ever, that, but certainly not because we think people won't like it, and we're not going to, we're gonna soothe anybody's nerves about them thinking what they're doing might not be liked by anybody because we say, hey, people do watch the channel. There is an audience for everything and we exist so you can do this, not so that other people can like it, basically. So we thank uh, Bob, Bob, if that's your real name for that letter. 
Um, I have another one here, also black ink on white paper, that says, where do you get the incredible variety of shows that Cheshire TV airs? Signed, George from Swansea. P.S. Just curious. Well, curious, George, uh, I think I already answered that question because I'm rambling a bit. Uh, the variety of shows come from basically three sources until I've discovered there's a fourth. You have local folks who come in and check out our equipment and create shows that they submit to us, or they come in weekly and do a show in the studio like this. You have people who just submit things out of the blue. We have a few people who send us DVDs of their programs, or they um, stop in and hand us a stack of DVDs of shows that they have something to do with. You have uh, Peg Media, that sort of thing that we download from elsewhere. And then, well, that's pretty much everything. You either have local submissions, exterior submissions, or stuff that we hunt out and grab. Like I went on to the Telview server a while ago and I saw that some station in Bedford or Nashua or Manchester had recorded some basketball games that had Keen teams playing. So it was an away game for Keen, but a local game for them. And I said, oh cool, people in this town probably didn't go to Bedford to watch this basketball game. I'll grab that and we'll air it on the show, on the channel. So th there's a, a variety of ways we get things, but um, it's not all produced here. I wish it was all produced here. Certainly um, as new shows come, the way it kind of works is that when you come and want to do a regular series, and you don't have to do a regular show. If you want to check out gear or come into the studio and sit down and talk about floral design once, fantastic. That's a special. We'll do it and we'll run it a lot over the course of several months. But if you do do a regular show, and uh, I said do do, um, then I forgot what I was talking about. This is the problem when it's just me here. I'm used to having another guy next to me and he left. Um, We'll move on, because I totally forgot what I was talking about. So, <laughs> sorry about that, folks. Um, one thing that people sometimes will ask us is, can you cover an event? And uh, the answer, the answer is, is sort of no. We don't really, we're, I always like to say, we're not the action news team. We're not a news organization. So we don't go out and just shoot footage of something that's happening and people milling about and then cut it together and add voiceover and all that stuff. Uh, Keene State College News does that. Uh, KSC TV News has been doing that for years, mostly college focused, but they, they got in the community too. Um, what we do, if we have the staff, which currently we don't have a lot of staff or volunteers, we'll get to that a little bit later. Um, if we have the staff to do it, we will send somebody out to cover uh, a meeting or a presentation or a, like a play or a show, something that has a clear start, m beginning, middle and end. If it's uh, you know breakout sessions with uh, flip charts and work groups, that's really how do you present that on TV without a lot of editing, which we don't have time to do. So we don't really cover events so much. So sometimes we'll get calls about that. And what we always encourage people to do is have somebody from their organization come in, become a member, get the camera training, which takes an hour or less, and shoot it yourself. And then come and either come back and you know trim the head and the tail off and throw titles on, or for a $10 fee, we can do that. Um, and then that'll get more covered. And that's something I always wanna encourage people to do a lot is if you're with an organization, if you're with a school, if you're with a nonprofit, if you're with a fraternal order or whatever, and you want your event on TV, and again, on TV is part of it. It could also be if you want your event on your website or on Facebook or on YouTube or whatever. If you just wanna have video footage, we have really good high-end cameras that have automatic settings if you don't wanna to get too de deep into the settings that g produce a really high quality picture. And you can come in, get a training for free, go out and shoot the thing, bring it back, and, and it can become something. So it doesn't have to be us doing it all the time. I wish we had time to cover everything that went on in town, but our commitments are varied, uh, our commitments that we are required to do are varied so that that eats up most of our free staff time, unfortunately. Uh, I'm gonna take a drink of water, a drink of non-branded water. Oh, that's good water. Um, speaking of nonprofits and fraternal orders and local towns and cities and all that stuff, groups, we have the Community Bulletin Board which is on channel 13, oh, oh, that's something that's new since we last spoke. So it was always channel eight and channel 10. Uh, Spectrum Cable nationwide 
changed the channel designations for public access. So as far as I know now, if you go to any town in the country that has Spectrum Cable as its provider, the public access stations are now on 1301, 1302, and 1303. Now there's three channels because public access is also known as PEG, P-E-G, for P for public, E for education, G for government. Some towns have a channel for each of those. Uh, here we always had channel eight for everything, but as we were covering more and more city meetings, um, it was a twofold problem. One was that if the meeting went, you never knew how long the meeting was gonna be. So if the meeting went long, it would bump the shows that were, you know, local people had produced after it, and there was no time to replay the meeting, so they would air like once. So we got channel 10 at the time, was our second channel, and that allowed us to split those things up. So now with the two channels, we have all the local origination and stuff we import on channel, was channel eight, and then channel 10 was all the government meetings live with multiple replays. So there was a lot more flexibility in how people could see these things, more opportunity to see them. So what Spectrum did is they shifted those channel numbers. So now, if you're watching this on TV, you already know this, now channel eight is channel 1301, and the government channel, government education, is actually 1302 and 1303. I believe it's on two channels simultaneously because that's there if we ever have enough content to split to a third channel, they've set it aside for us. So 1301, channel you're watching me on now, 1302 or three is where you'll see Keene City Council, Keene uh, MSFIPLD, Keene School District meetings, uh, Swansea Town, big town meetings in Swansea and Monadnock Regional School Board meetings are all on that second channel. So I said all that to say this, the community bulletin board airs between those meetings on channel 1302 and that is uh, slides. So you'll turn it on, some public access stations are little other than this. You'll turn it on and you'll get uh, Baked Bean Supper or Keen Kiwanis Club or what's showing at the Colonial Theater or what's coming up at the Redfern Arts Center. Those are all things that are sent to us predominantly as is, uh, as JPEG files. If you go to our website, which is CheshireTV.org, there is an area in there where you can see the specs and even download a template for creating these JPEG files for us. Ideally, we get these as 6 by 40 by 480 JPEG slides with no text or anything too close to the edges because if you have an old style 4x3 tube TV, those tend to crop the edges a little bit, so we don't want anybody to not read important contact info. Um, ideally, we get sent those as is. Sometimes we get sent them that we have to reformat a little bit, and sometimes people just send us the W's, the who, what, when, where, and contact info, and we create a slide for that. So I heartily encourage anybody who has a nonprofit organization or a city government or a school uh, meeting or notices or information you want to get out or membership info or any of that stuff, send that to us and we'll put that on the community bulletin board. And that airs, that stuff airs a lot. That's multiple times a day, every day on a loop. Uh, and it'll air between the day or day after we get that content until the day of your event. And uh, I think it's a great resource. It's free advertising. Uh, people are usually pretty excited when they, they hear about it for the first time. And there are certain organizations that regularly give us things and a lot of organizations that I wish would because again, it's just another way that we can serve the community, which is why we're here. Uh, speaking of the website, so our website was redesigned a year or two ago. If you looked at the CheshireTV.org website a while back, a couple years ago, it looked like it was from 1950s communist bloc Russia. It was many, sh as, this, as Mr. Tork once sang, it was many shades of gray. Uh, now it is full of color and photos and interconnectivity and functionality and all that. Um, on that website, there is a drop down menu for, I believe it's our shows or local programming. If you go to that, you'll see a uh, hopefully up-to-date list of all the shows that are produced locally right now. And those shows have uh, a little blurb about what the show is, and then they have a little link under them that says watch online. Now, it's a little bit of a convoluted way to, convoluted way to get there, but if you do this, you can basically watch everything that these people upload to YouTube. So those watch onlines, they link to the YouTube channel for each of these shows. So we don't have streaming currently. Our streaming service has been down for really too long now, but we do have these YouTube links. So it's a de facto, if I can use a semi-ethnic word, a de facto uh, on demand for our channel. So if you can drill your way through our website to find the local show list, just about every show that's produced locally puts their stuff online. So you can pretty much watch most of the episodes of these shows. Now some shows, people will pay us uh, a monthly fee and we will upload the shows for them. We maintain their YouTube channel. So Pat, who was just here taping on this set today, um, 
she left and we got her files and they're currently uploading to Peg Media, YouTube, and the Telview server so that people in the public can watch the shows and so that people um, at other stations can air them. And hers, again, are, sh are shows that air nationally. She's quite popular in the PRISM system in California for some reason. The educational aspects of learning music with Pat are shown in the uh, California prison system. So. Uh, we all get a kind of a kick out of that. Uh, we're getting close to the end of the show, but I'll see if I have anything else on my list here. Uh, da, da, da. Oh yeah, I did have one more letter. This is uh, from uh, Gerald uh, Cons Cons Gerald, oh, Franklin. Uh, it says, I have a Samsung TV and I would like to, yeah, we don't fix TVs. Um, we don't fix TVs. We were listed in the Yellow Pages at some point, for some reason, by somebody who probably hates us and may or may not be dead now. They listed us as TV sales, service, sales, and repair. We never have. We don't fix our own stuff here. Uh, but we get calls multiple times a week asking for TV repair, and we don't do that. So I will plead to you not to call us if your TV is broken. I'm sorry your TV is broken. But I will also say, if anybody out there knows where somebody uh, can get a TV serviced in the Greater Keene, uh, Swansea area, uh, please actually contact us because I keep telling people who call us and we disappoint by saying we don't fix TVs. I say, if you find out, let us know so we can tell everybody else who's gonna call. We haven't figured out a way to take off that, that yellow, yellow pages listing. So I would love, it used to be Gherkins, but they went out of business. I would love to be able to say, oh no, you wanna call uh, Joey's TV in Littleton. He'll, 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 Joey will take care of you. But uh, right now we don't know. We, we really don't know and we don't fix TVs. And uh, <laughs> I hate to disappoint people so often, but it's like, boy, that, yeah, LG is a great brand. We don't fix TVs. We don't, we don't fix TVs. Uh, it's a couple minutes left. Do, 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 do. Uh, oh, here's a good point that uh, Ernie brought up earlier. So we get complaints on occasion, very rarely, but once in a while we'll get a complaint about the content of a show that we air on the channel. And as I explained the corkboard principle before, um, if you see a show on our channel whose point of view you don't like or disagree with, um, it's not us. It's uh, everybody who does a program puts disclaimers at the beginning and the ends of their show that say the following show does not represent the opinions of Cheshire TV, its employees, staff, board of directors, and all that. So I will repeat that. The uh, opinions that you see on the shows on this channel are, are that of the person who makes them. We just put them on the air. It's a little bit different than commercial TV in that way is that we don't pre-screen anything. We don't censor anything. If there's what we call adult content, we trust that the person who makes that is going to tell us that. And we put it on after 10 p.m., between like 10 p.m. and 4 a.m. when there's very little chance a child will be watching, and we have additional disclaimers on them. But overall, yeah, the opinions of everything except this show right here. This, I think, might actually be the only show that is the official opinion of Cheshire TV. And even that you take with a grain of salt because it's coming out of my mouth. Uh, everything else is the opinion of the individual people, which is what's great about public access is the variety and sometimes wacky and also just uh, uh, the unfettered access of information uh, on the local level because uh, you can't see this stuff anywhere else. So I think I'm going to wrap it up with that. I have a couple other things, but they're weightier subjects than I want to rail through now. Um, it's been fun to be back. I strongly encourage anybody, even if it's foolish, even if it's a brownie recipe, because I love brownies. If you could send that in, uh, <laughs> yeah, send it to AskCheshireTV at CheshireTV.org, or give us a ring at 603-283-6621, or find us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Cheshire TV. That would be fantastic. And until next time, which might be a week, it might be a month, and it might be two years. I'm going to keep you hanging on that one. I am Mark, and this is Ask Cheshire TV, and I will see you on TV. <laughs>